Hey guys, we have another update video. So a lot of you have been asking about my equipment and stats. But more importantly, I'd like to address something. It started and happened too quick, and I didn't really expect that. We are now at 462 subs. 38 more to go for the 500 sub giveaway. This is all fun and exciting. I started my first video with a Assassin Dagger comparison video, which have gotten really good response. From this community, we had less than 1% subscribed viewers back, then and now. There's like 3% of you subscribe, so keep on subscribing, so I can finally afford to pay my rent this month. So anyways, we've helped out. A lot of people improve their Assassin Cross. This makes me happy but a lot are still requesting to show my equipment. If you haven't seen it yet, check the description for a link to the build video or click the video on the top right. If you want to see a PvP showcase, stay on this video. I have a PvP showcase at the end, so stay tuned. So this topic is always getting brought up in the comments. So I want to address it today, and it's that. This build is terrible on Shadow, Undead, and Demon. Also holy. While that is true, it's not that this build is terrible against those elements and races. It's more like, assassins are terrible against shadow, holy, undead, and demons. Regardless of what build you have going on, after all, with the exception of Venom Splasher, all assassin cross builds are neutral. Yes, and Venom Blade build is neutral. Quick tip, don't cast enchant poison when fighting. Shadow, holy, undead, and demons with shadow element. If you happen to have it active, you can simply cross it out the buff menu to terminate it immediately. While we're on the topic of damage against elements, I have been getting questions about card recommendations. So this is a bit tricky because I switch cards a lot, depending on the situation. For example, in this clip, I am using 3 Mandragora cards, which gives 20% increase damage against wind monsters. It would be better if you have 4, but I only have 3 at the moment. So basically, depending on which monster you are attacking or hunting, you switch cards to counter their elements, race, or size. So one way to tell a monster's race, size, and element is by clicking on their picture on the top of the screen. From there you can see and figure out which cards to equip. I won't dive too deep into this because I think there may have been a few people who posted this already. But let me know down in the comments if you want to learn more. I can make a full video on how I prepare and change cards while MVP hunting. Anyways, that's it on weapon cards. For accessories, of course, I have free stem worm cards equipped. Each stem worm card gives you 3% chance to cast red cut if you have a bunch of stem worm cards in your inventory that you do not use you can awaken and upgrade them but if you're in a budget like me equipping to clear stem worms is better than a one star two star or even three star stem worm card after all each gives you three percent chance and based on my testing each card is like a 20 to 30 thousand increase in my dps plus you can sell it later on wink For PvP, I generally use two Hydro Illusions for Demi-Human Damage and two-star Metaller and Requiem for extra attack and status infliction of Silence and Fear, which is very useful in stopping enemies from casting or attacking during encounters. Now this is all pretty F2P still, but if you have a budget, two Hydra and two Skell Workers will give you the most damage for PvP. One other tip I can give you is when you know you're up against a strong guild during League. Turn of Enchant Poison in your auto settings, or at least put it in manual mode. Since there have been an increasing number of people who own RG Oak card, and that will greatly reduce their damage taken against you if you have Enchant Poison on. Okay, so those are pretty much the most asked question in the last video and I hope I was able to clearly address them for you. If you have any more questions, please let me know down in the comments. Also, I know there have been numerous requests to test the level 80 weapons. Unfortunately, that will have to wait till next week, since I just crafted my rider's set. 
and level 80 gears are pretty expensive to make. So please like and subscribe on my video, so I can finally consistently do these tests for you. Anyways, for the PvP showcase. I didn't have a chance to do 3v3 again this week. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but I compiled a highlight from today's guild expedition and guild league. I forgot to turn up the background music while playing, so I went ahead and just added a guitar sound. Enjoy! Do you like this video? If you do, please leave a like and subscribe.